So lately, my fingers and hands have been itching, and I don't know what's going on. You know, on my right hand, there's nothing. Sometimes they say you're getting, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, oh, some kind of rash. It has holes, it's bleeding. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Oh my gosh, what is it? What is it? Hi guys and gals, welcome back to another tutorial. This is a part of my vlog every single day for the month of October. Um, the first one is going to be holes in your hand or wherever you choose to put them. Um, just make sure whatever wax you use is close to the color of the area that you're placing it on. Or you can always use some kind of powder foundation to change the color. So I'll start off with some nose and scar wax here. Um, as you can see, I'm getting down some last bits. So I need to go on over to uh, my local... I get my stuff from Eddie's Trick Shop, which is uh, locate, located here in Atlanta. One in Marietta, one in Decatur. So anyway, um, I put a little bit of coconut oil on my fingers too, so I won't stick to the wax and the wax won't stick to me. So I start flattening it out and I'm looking at the area where I'm going to place the wax and I'm going to place it in the palm of my hand. Um, so here I'm taking a little bit of the coconut oil, which is on my finger, and I'm smoothing out the wax. I'm smoothing out the edges. I'm trying to make it look like that's actual skin in the palm of my hand. And right now I'm pressing with my finger. You can use a, a scalpel or a spatula or something like that. Not a scalpel. <laughs> a spatula or something like that. But, you know, I like fingers because my finger is warm and it can press the wax and it makes it more pliable. I don't know. I just like it. And um, shout out to that big old piece of string hanging from my shirt. Look, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not trying to be cute. I'm just trying to do this tutorial. So anyway, I'm using um, that knife also. And right now what I'm doing is I dip the knife down in a little bit of coconut oil. And I'm smoothing out the wax again. And I'm also drawing lines that would be similar to lines that would actually be in my hand. So just to give it some kind of texture. To give it some likeness and some realness when you look at it. So, you know, you want to kind of do that also if you're putting, you know, wax on your hands and you're going to put it on your hand. But if you're doing it on the top of your arm, you probably really don't have to worry about it. But here I'm using this paper towel, one, to get some of that oil off my hand. And two, it's also adding more texture, more real life like texture. So, you know, it can be believable as... I place it onto my hand. So again, I'm still smoothing out the edges. I'm still adding some texture. Um, you know, I go back in and I add in the lines a couple of times. And I use that paper towel right there. I keep it near me because, you know, wax can get a little sticky and messy and gunky. So you want to make sure that you have something to use to wipe off any excess wax as it comes. So right here, I just have a simple bobby pin. Um... And that's how I start making my holes. I make some small holes, some medium holes, some large holes. Um, in some areas of the wax, it's thicker uh, width-wise than other areas, so the hole will be deeper. And as you can see later on in the video, those holes I'll be, you know, during the near the bottom, I'll be painting them a little bit black just to make them look, give the illusion of a deeper hole, which it really is a deeper hole. So I guess it's not an illusion. So I'm just trying to put all the holes onto my hand in this little area, kind of space them out, not really even, just sporadic, because if you really had a rash, and the actual name, now I was inspired by another makeup artist, and I'll put her name here, and I'll also put it down in the description box, but there's a fear of holes, and I sometimes be on Facebook, and I'll see pictures where people will have holes in their hand or their finger or something like that. And it totally freaks me out. Like, even while I'm talking to you now, I'm getting goosebumps. When I was doing the video, I'm getting goosebumps because it's so freaky and creepy and nasty to me. But anyway, I just went on ahead and decided to do the tutorial. So the name of the actual, there's a fear of holes. That is a phobia. And um, I, I don't know if this is really a rash of some sort, but if it is, I'll go ahead and put the name here. And I'll also put the name of the actual fear of holes here also so you can actually look these things up so i'm taking this the knife my knife and flattening down 
the areas um because you know as i'm digging out the wax the sides kind of come up and raise with it which is kind of good because it gives a a more realistic view of the holes so i'm still getting holes i'm making some little ones mediums big medium ones big ones just trying to make it look really really believable so at this point in time it's just like i'm just ugh. Y'all just don't understand how much it took internally for me to do this. So now I'm giving you a close-up view of the holes. And so now here what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of powder. What I'm trying to do is make sure that the wax looks remotely similar to the rest of the inside of my hand. So here I'm putting on a medium shade of powder. And then later on, I'll go in and put in a lighter shade also. Again, this is all with the intention of making sure that the wax at least looks believable um, and looks like a part of my hand. So now i got the clear, not the clear, but the lighter powder, and I'm dusting that on all of my fingers also. So kind of get rid of that shine too, because that coconut oil, <laughs> that coconut oil, serious. If you need some, to get something not dry, <laughs> use coconut oil. So... Here we go. I'm pouring a little bit of blood in the cap because I'm not going to use that much blood. This isn't a real gory, gory look or tutorial. It's just more just, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It's just nasty. <laughs> so I'm taking some of my black grease paint and going down in the bottom of the larger holes. And it's just going to give depth and dimension to those holes. And I'm still going to go back on top of them and put blood inside of the holes. So, you know, it'll... All of them will get blood. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here is putting the blood on top of the holes that I already painted dark on the inside. And I also have a cup of water there. And that cup of water is to dilute the blood too so I can make some holes where the, the coloring is not so intense. It's more of a pinkish or more of a flesh tone versus the black with the dark red blood so that's what I'm doing here I'm doing like a ugh, ugh. I'm telling y'all <laughs> it took a lot <laughs> but it came out I think it came out great I think it's believable I would do this I mean I would do it on someone's face you can do it on someone's arm shoulder neck uh, cheek forehead hand palm of hand wrist you know, this is just something that you can do anywhere on the body, arm, anything. And if you really want to get creative with it, what you can do is get some fake maggots and let the maggots be crawling out of the hand. I don't have any fake maggots with me, but if I did, oh my gosh, I think that would just set it off totally and utterly, you know, in a disgusting way. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, I'm finishing it up now I'm showing you I'm cleaning up my little supplies but yeah that's what it looks like for the most part I think it looks pretty good it looks pretty believable it looks like something's going wrong really really wrong on my hand <laughs> really wrong on my hand so yeah I hope you enjoy this tutorial hope I helped you out and maybe helped you get a good look for Halloween or something like that or help you with your clients um, but yeah if you want to get some more information or see some more of my work go to www.theatlantamakeupartist.com and check me out okay bye yeah here I am when it's done and I just decided to destroy it on camera and that itself looked really, really nasty. It's like an open wound. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, so I was just playing around and I wanted to bring you along the journey with me. I don't know what I was doing. I was just playing it at this one time. Like it's a gash or some stuff. I don't know. It just looks gross. Anyway, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>